getting crazy. And then I did say we have honorable mentions because right. uh, you let me let, listen to these honorable mentions. We have Buff okay. Bagwell's mom on a forklift, Viagra on mom a pole. on a wait, what? Yeah, in WCW mom on a forklift. Oh, Sarah, this is why I made this list because I know you've not heard of a lot of these, and I want your reaction to every single one of them. Okay. Uh, Buff Bagwell on a mo- uh, on Buff Bagwell's mom on a forklift. Yes, that happened in WCW. Um, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Viagra okay. on a pole match. Um, that was legit. <laughs> Go look that up. Vince okay. Russo ever baby. Um, match of ten thousand tax. The kennel yeah. from hell. Boiler Room Brawl. Everyone loves a good Boiler Room Brawl. Uh, Punjabi was... Prison Match. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you saying, <laughs> Boiler Room? No, I just remember that being, like, a thing in, like, WWF games. Like, we're oh, going to go yeah, fight yeah, yeah. in the back. And it was always the Boiler Room. Yeah. And it was like, why are you even in here? Like, <laughs> why are you in here? Why is this just, like, a natural place for you to be? I don't understand. That's the janitors walking by, like, oh, two guys are fighting. Um, all yeah. Right. Oh, they're just going to go hang out by the Boiler in the whatever like okay watch out for this table and ladder over here that mysteriously placed you know never mind fighting in the hallway or your (laughs) locker room (laughs) but you literally walked all the way over here looking for this strange room but okay (laughs) next match a Punjabi prison which is all time that match is hilarious (laughs) <laughs> um and then what was it we got dumpster housekeeping china and jeff jarrett okay uh everyone you know every teenage boy's favorite the broad and panties match i was gonna say that's one of the worst oh it absolutely is one of the worst wise, but teenage yeah. boys who oh, yeah. watching, it, it's their favorite well also girls probably liked it too i mean i'm not yeah. gonna say like i trish is hot so yeah we just you know. like hot people yeah. Empty arena. Okay. Arena. Thunderdome yeah. days. But there was an empty arena match with uh Rock and Mankind, and it was Super Bowl halftime show. Wow. It was halftime heat during the Super Bowl during two, 1999. That would be so crazy back then, especially because the crowds were so loud. Oh, so loud. So what they did was they filmed the entire match, and they went through the entire arena. Like That's the stands, a- the boxes. Isn't that like, such a random feud that like people love though? Like the Rock and Mankind, it's always oh, it's like top five. Yeah, but it's like crazy. It seems like such a random pairing, you know? Like I feel like people would be like Rock and Stone Cold, and then someone else will be like Rock and Mankind. Like what? <laughs> that seems like, odd, but well, it's all right. makes I'll sense. Try. They delivered. Yeah. They they yeah. fucking delivered. Um, WCW match. There was a pay per view. There was a match. I don't know what it's called. Hopefully, one of the Freddies have it in here in the chat. Um, it was fought on a sixteen wheeler truck, and they were okay. driving on like a highway, and these guys oh were fighting gosh. on a truck, um, like on top of it. No, inside of it. But oh, it was like okay. a cage oh my truck. God. But was it really moving? A thousand percent, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like who, WCW. Who, who, who agreed to that, though? Never mind. Like, I'm not going to even shame the person that came up with the idea because we're also thinking the 90s. But, like, are we... Who was like, yeah, dude, I'll do that. I'll do risk my know life for this business. I'll fight in the back. Of there the it book. is. Freddie knows one of the participants. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes was one of the participants. <laughs> uh, it, why is it not shocking that he would have been one? Not in the slightest, I'm sure. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, if you told me someone else, I might be like, oh, but like, gold us, pre gold us. No, it was Dustin Rhodes, WCW. Yeah. That's insane. Uh, the blind, the good old fashioned blindfold match. Okay. Lethal lockdown. You know, you know, another one? Hand tied behind my back match. Yes. He got fired after that match. I do remember a story about mm. that. Uh, that is tough. Uh, reverse battle royal. TNA did a reverse battle royal where the first person to get into the ring won. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Would be so epic. That would be so much harder. So it much harder. So fucking terrible. You would be there literally all day. That would it be like a so Iron bad. Man match. Like who can last the longest? Because it's like no one's just gonna get forced into the ring. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so funny. Oh, I can just list these. 
And then two more I have here before we get into the three count. Uh, Anarchy in the Arena. It was during okay. like an empty arena show uh, AEW did. Um, if the, You've probably seen the clip of Sa- Sammy Guevara getting ran over by a golf cart. No, I haven't. Okay, well, that's what it's from. Uh, okay, I, I probably block out most things about Sammy. And I not. Thing. Don't blame you. A lot of people yeah. do. And then uh, an exploding barbed wire match because those are... Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? When Freddie says Vince Russo booked all that shit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That seems like it came from one brain who had one brain cell. That's like... like and the, what's crazy is, is like, <laughs> thinking of all of this, it's just like, yeah, that was the 90s. Like, <laughs> you know? Like, when thinking about someone doing that shit now, it's like, what? <laughs> Like, but it's like believable that this all happened because it was just such a crazy time. I would love to be a fly on the wall for these meetings where they had someone had to think of this idea and present it. I, but, but but see, like, I don't think that's the worst part. I feel like the worst part is that there were multiple people who agreed that they were good ideas. That's the problem. That's a bunch of yes men. Because it's like you can come in and present like the most bogus thing ever just to be like, okay, let's see. Like, this is the craziest thing I could think of and let's see if it works. But the fact that some guy is like, hell yeah, let's do that at the main event. It's like, what? What is wrong with you? There's a whole list of matches that WCW did that we could legitimately spend an entire episode just dissecting how bad they were. And it's uh, it's like, again, it's not surprising that it happened and it was WCW. Oh, if we're like, like, of course. <laughs> yeah. Like, why am I not surprised? Although the kennel from hell is pretty fucking terrible. Yeah. That's just, I, I don't know. It's just not surprising.